Welcome back to the channel, JC Figs here, and today we're going to review a holy grail in the belt collecting community, the official World Wrestling Federation Winged Eagle Replica. Of course, the WWF Winged Eagle Championship is one of, if not the most recognized and prestigious belts in all of professional wrestling. Some of the greatest wrestlers have held this belt, including Macho Man Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, and the list goes on. In terms of replica belts, this is not necessarily the best quality WWF Winged Eagle belt. However, it is one of the only official World Wrestling Federation replica belts. Now make sure you stick around until the end of the video, because I will be comparing this with the older version of the WWE Shop Winged Eagle Belt. Let's go ahead and start off this review and we will begin with the faux leather strap here. As you can see, it is a faux leather strap. It's not very bendable at all. Pretty stiff, however, given its age, it has got a little bit more flexible compared to your WWE Shop straps for the most part. However, the newer Winged Eagle on the WWE Shop has a much better strap than the older version. Now, there is a slight curve on the center plate here, as you can see. Certainly not the best curve, though. And these plates on this belt are two millimeters thick. And the tip on this belt is actually in very good condition. Not really many scratches or any dents or anything on that gold tip. We have a five by two female snap box there. Now the snap box on this particular replica is pretty beat up as you can see. We have the WWF Champion plate in gold and black. And you can see the stitching all around the outside of the strap. Then we have stitching in the snap box as well. It's just stitched on there. The first side plate features two wrestlers in the center and then we have a floral design on each side of the wrestlers. The WWF logo at the top here and sunburst pattern on the bottom and behind the WWF logo. Surrounding the five center plates is a seashell texture in the faux leather strap. And then the inner side plate features pretty much the same thing as the outer side plate. You have the WWF logo at the top, the sunburst pattern behind that WWF logo. You can see the two wrestlers in the center there. Again, just like the outer side plate, however, they're doing different moves. Got the sunburst pattern at the bottom and the floral design on each side of those wrestlers there as well. Moving on to the center plate, and we have the sidebars that are not attached on this plate. Now this is the biggest downfall of this official WWF belt is that the sidebars are not attached. And you'll see later in the video that it's the same issue with the older WWE Shop version of the Winged Eagle as well, where they have the sidebars that are not attached. However, on the newer WWE Shop version, the sidebars are attached. You have the WWF logo right here at the top. You have the copyright symbol there. World banner at the top here in black and gold. You can see the eagle and it looks really good. The tooling and the wings look great. The blue on the globe looks really good as well. You can see the eagle perfectly, no issue at all. You got the heavyweight banner right there in the center of the eagle and then the wrestling champion banner at the bottom. There's a globe on each side of the wrestling banner there. You have wrestlers on the right and left side of the center plate and some neat little floral designs there as well. You can also see some stars in the banner and the sunburst pattern again on the sides behind the wrestlers. Overall, you know, this center plate is probably the most recognized center plate in all of professional wrestling, like I mentioned earlier. You have the inner side plate here, same thing as the other side. Wrestlers in the center, floral design, the WWF logo at the top, sunburst pattern. Same thing as the outer side plate. Then you have the seashell texture ending right there around the outer side plate. No other plate on the end over here. We have an 8x2 male snap box. And again, the snap box is sewed on and you can see like little texture inside the snap box also. Overall, this belt is beautiful. It, you know, it's really nice for someone that wants an authentic WWF Winged Eagle Championship belt. A lot of people complain about the WWE Shop versions just because they don't have that logo at the top. And really that's not a big deal at all because the quality of those WWE Shop belts are much better than the quality of this older WWF Figs Inc. belt. Flipping the strap over, 
and you can see all the screws on the back here you have the stamp in the center officially licensed WWE product there's all the screws there and you can see the back of the snap box as well now the strap on this particular belt is actually in extremely good condition way better condition than the plates which is surprising because usually these straps fall apart pretty easily especially given how old they are. Now we'll test out the snap box, see how it feels around the waist, and then we'll compare it with the WWE Shop version. The length of the Figures Inc. WWF Winged Eagle replica is 50 inches. I have a size 32 inch waist. Now we'll test the snap box. Try and fit this as snug as possible here. And this snaps on pretty easily. It's not that difficult. A little bit easier than the WWE Shop version, and it fits fine. It's got a slight, very, very slight curve to it. So I mean, it's not too uncomfortable. It's not like the WCW World Heavyweight Championship from WWE Shop. It's not completely flat like a pancake. But again, it's just a very slight curve as you guys saw earlier in the video. Other than that, it fits pretty well. It stays on good. I can move around, bend down side to side without it falling off or the snaps coming undone. Overall, I think it looks good enough, especially for an older WWF Winged Eagle replica. I do like the way it looks. It looks good. You can walk around the house with it on, show it off, show it off to the wife. Well, this belt will definitely make you look and feel like the champ. Quite a bit of differences between the WWE Shop Winged Eagle Belt and the WWF Figures Toy Company Belt. First of all, the gold plating on the WWE Shop version is a darker gold than the Figs Ink version. The Figs Ink is much lighter. You can really see that in the belt tips. Even on the snap boxes, you can see the different shading of gold between the two belts. The plate thickness, the plates on the WWE Shop version are four millimeters thick much thicker than the two millimeter figures toy company plates because of that plate thickness you can really see the detailing much better on the wwe shop version now the version one of the winged eagle wwe shop has the detached sidebars the sidebars are not attached however on the version two winged eagle from wwe shop the sidebars are attached of course, on the figure's toy company belt, the sidebars are also not attached. And obviously on the WWE Shop version, you have the WWE Legends logo at the top. And on the fixed toy company belt, you have the WWF logo at the top. Now, not only are the plates thicker on the WWE Shop version, but the strap is very, very thick on the WWE Shop belt. Much thicker than the strap on the Figures Toy Company belt. So there's plenty of differences here, and the curve on both belts are very slight. Neither one has much of a curve, but the Figures Toy Company belt does curve a little bit more. For the most part, these belts are exactly the same besides the logos. The gold plating is a little bit different, obviously. And the thickness in plates and strap. Now, if you have the funds to obtain either one of these belts and you could choose between the two, I personally would pick the Figures Toy Company belt just because it has that WWF logo. When you think about the Winged Eagle Championship belt, you think about the WWF logo on there. You don't think about the WWE Legends logo. And the detailing on the Figures Toy Company belt is plenty good enough for a collector's item. Let me know which one you guys prefer out of these two belts in the comments below. The Figures Toy Company WWF Winged Eagle belt also comes with a WWF belt bag. And the belt bag itself is very rare. I've had people offer me money for this belt bag and I've turned it down just because it's so cool to have a WWF official belt bag. Of course, the WWE shop also offers belt bags with the replica titles. And if you need any replica belt accessories like wall hangers, or if you need some extra figures for your collection, fake figure blood, hardcore accessories, stuff like that, you can get them at figurestoycompany.com and use discount code JCFIGS to save 10% at checkout. If you collect WWE Elites or Ultimate Editions or Mortal Kombat figures at EntertainmentEarth.com, you can use discount code JCFIGS to save 10% there as well. That's going to wrap up this review, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, peace.